shepherd tones are sounds that keep rising forever. So if I play a single note and hold it, it's rising forever. If I just, a thousand years, I could hold down that note and it will continue to rise. Or fall, if I do it the other way around. So falling. Forever, if I just held down the notes. These are called shepherd turns. To understand what's happening, let's look at this visually in a spectrum analyzer. Take a look at this. Can you see what's happening here? There are four frequencies, four sine waves going on a journey over and over and over again to infinity, a million, billion, gazillion times if you've got enough energy to hold down that note long enough. So we need to create four sine waves and send them on a journey, a journey changing in amplitude and frequency. Imagine you're one of these sine waves. What's happening? The amplitude is changing. It's going up and then down. In other words, the height, the volume of each sine wave goes up and then down, whilst the frequency goes up. Then we create four of these and make sure they're set correctly. To do this, we use two layers of serum, each doing two sine waves. Let's look at one of them. You can see we have two sine waves here and four LFOs. Each of the LFOs at the same length, this length being the length of the journey. And remembering the visual earlier, we need to do two things. We need to change amplitude and frequency separately for each. So this LFO changes this amplitude, this LFO, this frequency, this LFO, this amplitude, and this LFO, this frequency. And to be precise with this frequency modulation, we go to double click for typeable values. And in the matrix, make sure we're going one direction and then double click and type 12 semitones for an octave. And we'll do this for all the frequency modulations so they're consistent. So for each sine wave, we have one LFO in amplitude, one LFO in frequency, and therefore we can draw the journey shape. So the amplitude will look like this, rising and falling, and the frequency will look like this, simply rising. Now the final step is that offset to get them all lined up correctly. And to do this, we need to go into trigger mode. So we're starting in the same position of the LFO every time. And then for each sine wave, we choose a different start point. Let me show you this visually. So one sine wave starts at the beginning, one a quarter through, one a halfway through, and one three quarters of the way through. So sending them on the same journey, they're just starting different positions. And that creates the offset perfectly. We could do this over two octaves if we want, just set the frequency modulation to two octaves, 24 semitones. Or we can make it go down, just set it in the other direction, modulating down an octave, say. Very spooky, very, very spooky. Don't get spooked. If you make one of these sounds, don't get spooked and try not to get lost in infinity. These are the hazards of making shepherd tones.